Hello and welcome to this lecture where you learn how to implement an FIR filter on an FPGA. FIR filters are very common in signal processing and we will look, have a look at an implementation for video signals. The application is a modern TV set where you often find a feature like sharpness improvement. And this sharpness improvement is implemented or can be implemented with an FIR filter. The lecture consists of several videos and in this video we will have a look at the algorithm development. So what is the algorithm for this FIR filter? To understand the algorithm we have to know what frequencies are in terms of image processing. Frequencies mean that we have a certain amount of structures in our image and uh, frequency of zero would be an image without a structure. And uh, if we have a gradual change, this is a low frequency. If we have more frequent changes, this means medium and high frequency. And these frequencies can occur in horizontal or in vertical direction. For our sharpness algorithm, we want to amplify the higher frequencies to get a sharper image. So that would be around this region here. So this is a block diagram for this approach. You have an input signal X and with a high pass filter you identify the high frequencies. Then you amplify them by a certain factor and add them to the input signal to get the output signal Y. And the amplification factor allows to set the sharpness for your TV set to low, medium, high or switch it off. An image has two dimensions and you can use a separable filter. So first perform vertical sharpening and then horizontal sharpening. For the high pass filter, we need filter constraints. And um, therefore we have to think about the size of the filter. You can do experiments with different filter sizes and uh, different um, filter frequencies as a Initial constraint is an educated guess. Um, we are designing a seven tap or nine tap filter. This is a yeah, medium size and we choose the cutoff frequency at 50% of the frequency range. And now there are different methodologies to design the coefficients. Here uh, I want to show you the usage of octave, but there are also other options. In octave, uh, you have a function to determine the filter coefficients and uh, then you get certain values. If we have a closer look, we see that the coefficients minus four plus four are very small, so they are nearly zero, and uh, the nine tap filter is effectively a seven tap filter. For an efficient implementation, we want to have uh, discrete filter coefficients, and um, we choose the resolution so that the coefficients minus three plus three are approximately one. And we want the coefficients as a fraction with the divisor as a power of two. This coefficient 0 0.022661 is about one divided by 44. So we are rounding a bit and we're choosing a resolution of one divided by 32. We take our coefficients, multiply them with 32 and round them and then we get these values and the filter function that you see here. The filter coefficients are then multiplied with the amplification factor A and added to the original signal. So for A equals 1, you have here the original signal. This is the high pass filter and then you get the result for the complete function of the sharpness filter. Here's another value for A and you get different coefficients. In our example, we take A equals one to get a very good sharpness, to get a high sharpness so that we can see something. And maybe later on, you can reduce that to have a smaller sharpness factor. With octave, you can see the frequency response. For low frequencies, you have a amplification of 0 dB, so there is uh, no change in the frequency. And uh, for higher frequencies, you get a magnitude of 6 dB, so 
factor of 2. Now we can try out our algorithm with a test image. And again, we use Octave. With the image package, we can read a JPEG image. Horizontal filter is here. Vertical filter is uh, horizontal filter transposed. These are the filter functions. And then we write the result. The code is available at our project website. And uh, if you use your own test image, you have to change the names of the image files. Here you see the test image uh, in the original version. It's a Hava scene. And uh, after the sharpness filter, you get this result. So depending on the quality of your uh, video streaming, uh, I hope you can see some differences. Here you see a detail of the test image. It's the clock of the tower on the right side. And you see that small structures are more sharp in the right image, but also noise is more visible. So it's a trade-off between sharpness and uh, visibility of noise. And you have to adjust that with the factor A for the amplification. Now we have the algorithm for the FIR filter. And in the next video, I will explain the implementation on an FPGA. Please have a look at that video.